what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since my halloween ends in this video here today now what you see here on your screen is a message that i had gotten the day after the fourth of july from one of my sources that i trust who share information with me about certain upcoming projects they decided to share information with me about halloween ends saying that ends is dealing with a new kid who killed someone and Haddonfield treats him like michael but we don't know if he's evil or not so it's more about the nature of evil than anything else myers does come back but not until later in the film now here's the thing this was something again that was told to me the day after the fourth um and then of course i just waited to see if it ended up being true and it was true in the sense that the kid's name is actually Corey cunningham he is played by an actor named rohan campbell and going off of the synopsis that reads four years after her last encounter with the mass killer michael myers Lori strode is living with her granddaughter and trying to finish her memoir myers hasn't been seen since and Lori finally decides to liberate herself from rage and fear and embrace life however when a young man stands accused of murdering a boy that he was babysitting it ignites a cascade of violence and terror that forces Lori to confront the evil she can't control now when considering that synopsis mixed with some of the wording here and some of the shots shown in the teaser that's been released where we see michael myers at one point he has a ring on his finger that doesn't really match knowing that michael isn't supposed to have certain fingers and then we see michael again later on battling Lori, where the hand seems to be more accurate and certain limbs are not there so again going off of some of the wording it says when a young man stands accused of murdering a boy he was babysitting this young man no doubt is going to be Corey cunningham it's it's like okay something's going on here i i would guess where Corey cunningham i'm going to just speculate real quick might have some type of obsession with true crime in some capacity he could be somebody who's obsessed with a lot of these different killers that exist and michael myers is now his latest obsession let's say that's the route we take in this upcoming movie he could be someone who isn't even haddonfield resident he just recently moved to haddonfield and there's something about michael myers that he has become recently obsessed with just like how he might have been obsessed with another killer in the past like a uh, ted bundy let's say or something something else like uh john wayne gacy or you know something like that which is actually stuff that was touched on a little bit in halloween resurrection but let's just apply that to a different character now in this timeline someone who's obsessed and that obsession probably goes a little bit too far there is a shot of Corey in the teaser if i'm recalling correctly where it looks like michael grabs the boy and is choking them briefly in the sewers so some type of encounter goes on so maybe he went looking for michael and this is something he was doing in secret i would say because again the assumption is that he's going to be dating allison in this upcoming movie doing this in secret because he knows about the trauma michael caused allison so he's doing this in secret he ends up stumbling across michael has a brief encounter with him and escapes with his life now he could have also escaped with something else michael myers mask so here's what could also go down in the opening we see that somebody is stalking a house we hear heavy breathing i've seen some people already address that does not sound like michael myers breathing patterns uh that we're accustomed to and then again with the shot of what you see on your screen transitioning into Lori standing in the door frame with a with a gun clearly showing us something completely different as far as what's in the background of the rooms prior to that i'm thinking okay this is the boy that was being babysat and what happened with Corey is that maybe he decided to you know play a prank the prank goes horribly wrong and that's why he ends up being being accused of this heinous crime he didn't do anything but his obsession allowed him to of course do something do something that he thought of course would be ultimately harmless just put on the mask of michael myers and scare the boy or whoever it is he's pranking or whoever it is he's babysitting this leads to their demise and that doesn't end up well for him because he was the only one in the house with the child he didn't really do anything but the whole town of hatterfield is just blaming him blaming him blaming him left and right uh nothing really comes of this because there's no real evidence of it let's say that he did anything to the child and then all these years later allison has stood by him uh he is talking to her about some of the obsessions he had revealing his obsession with michael myers to allison and 
the whole town just hates this kid he's despised in the town for what he's done because they they're tired of this they want to be rid of anything that might resemble michael myers and what he did to them 40 years ago and four years ago now and all this terror he's caused them in the community and how they respond to evil uh, is a little bit toxic in a way, I guess you could say, given that Corey in and of himself, he didn't do anything in the sense that he didn't even kill this boy. So what ends up happening is Corey could be someone who decides, you know what, if they want me to be the essence of evil, I will give them the essence of evil. He decides to become a Michael Myers copycat killer. He decides to go out of there, go out of his way and attack certain people who might have been a little bit more nastier to him than others in the community of Haddonfield. And this ultimately leads to a confrontation that goes on between himself and Laurie Strode. But Michael Myers himself also returns during all of this as well, which could lead us to a scenario where Michael kills Corey who is at this point, I would say, been pushed over the edge mentally. And this obsession he had with true crime would also factor into that. And his obsession with with serial killers and other things like, again, he could be someone who moved into Haddonfield. We don't know much about Corey Cunningham. He could be a kid who moved into Haddonfield and always had an obsession with killers and true crime. And Michael Myers was his latest obsession. So this move in was perfect for him. Um, and this led him down a very dark path, given how the town of Haddonfield responded to him after an unfortunate accident resulted in the death of a kid he was babysitting when he was pranking them dressed as Michael Myers. Let's just say that's what happened. He didn't do anything, but then the whole town doesn't like him. He decides, you know what? I'm going to give them what they want. They want they want me to be evil. They won't let me be good. So I'll just be evil. Goes out of his way, dons the mask. He gets to live out this obsession he has with these killers and even embody and maybe in his own mind get to see what it felt like for them and this ultimately of course would lead to michael myers ultimately returning to haddonfield Corey gets taken out and laurie strode and michael myers have their final battle now a lot of that in between might sound like again something and i'm already can admit i don't even necessarily want to see them do something like this i'm just thinking about a narrative they could give us with Corey. but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below do you think this is something they could do is it something you would actually want to see them do if you haven't already subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts from on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course and let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video